Wilkinson. I'm Dr. Richard Marshall. And Richard, I can barely say good morning because it is late. It's 11 oh, 18. I thought you were going to say you couldn't say good morning because it wasn't. Oh, well, it's adequate morning. <laughs> <laughs> barely good morning to you. <laughs> barely good morning. Okay. Yeah, no, it was, it's, it's almost not That's right. Morning. It's almost noon. Right? Yeah. No, eleven thirty. Yeah, it's eleven fifteen or eleven twenty okay. now. So um yeah, it's it's later in the day because we're getting a late start. Right. Uh mm-hmm. well at least with the podcast. Because we both had quite a morning. You you had a morning that was full of fun and excitement and I had a I had a presentation that... to do last night at a school. I did a presentation to school last night, which changes the schedule. Yeah. When I get home much later, eat much later, you know, want to spend time with the kids and all that stuff. Threw me off enough that I slept in a little bit later this morning. Which is Which not, I, something I never do. You never do. Right. You never do. I don't use an alarm clock, but I'm up early. And today, fortunately, my daughter didn't have to go to first period this morning, so <laughs> she she was okay with getting up an hour late. So yeah. anyway. But it but it but it fits in nice because I, I was as I got here and was kind of putting some things together for the podcast and right. and and thinking about things and looking forward to the day that I the morning that I had planned. I was thinking, you know, we, we need to talk about how do you recover from a morning that doesn't go as planned. Well, and your computers all had to be, re- right? I mean, oh. you get the first thing you had to do is you had to redo all of your computers. Oh my gosh, right? my, the computers, I didn't know you were going to mention that, but yes, my computers were just... Well, that threw your morning off. So completely. mine was thrown off by one thing, yours was thrown And here we are thinking, today we're going to talk about this kind of a topic anyway. Yeah. So things sort of coalesce this morning. uh, You know, it just works out that way sometimes. Right. So so let's talk a little bit about how to turn your day around when, you know, you have your morning routine, you have your schedule, you you do the same thing every day, Mm -hmm. and then something happens, just something that's usually outside of your control, usually something that you you weren't paying attention to or didn't didn't anticipate, changes everything. Right. Yeah. And it happens because you and I are on a, since we opened our practice, right. are on a pretty tight schedule. Right. We're doing a lot of things, a lot of different people involved. We're on very tight schedules. Mm-hmm. When that gets thrown off, right. and it can be because there's so many moving parts, right. it can be thrown off pretty easily. Yeah. Okay. It doesn't take much. Right. So what do you do when we're on this tight? Like you and I like to do a podcast by 6.30 every morning. Right. Okay. And this morning, because of two completely unrelated Mm-hmm. changes we weren't able to do that right changes the entire starts to change the entire day right could ruin your day right but but you have to reset right you ha- reset you ha- is you the to reset is the main issue yeah mm-hmm. so when, when that happens and, and and it is bound to happen as you said it, right. it, it's bound to happen when that but when it does you just have to recognize it and say you know what let's 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 get back to where we can get back to our as close to our regular schedule and routine as possible. That's right. You have to reset, but it begins with, I am not going to let the, right. you have to make the decision up front, I'm not going to let this ruin my day. Right. There is a solution for everything. Right. Okay. And if you stay calm, and if you, if you don't let your emotions take over, mm-hmm. and you say, okay, I'm going to reset, I know I can handle whatever needs to be handled. I know that people will be understanding mm-hmm. and I'm not going to let my emotions take right. over. Yeah. That's when you start banging away at your spouse, your kids, the dog, you yeah. know, the car, you start slamming doors, throwing things around. You can't let your emotions take over. That's decision yeah. number one. Yep. Yeah. And, and you know, this, the, the wrench can be thrown in at any point, you know, right. like I, I woke up fine this morning. I woke mm-hmm. up, I had a song in my mind. I was, you know, kind of feeling good, right. got in the car on my way here. But as I'm getting out of the Jeep, like I dropped my bag and I'm like- <laughs> Your whole, like your- Yeah, my bag. I'm like, I'm like that, that, what, what's going on? And it, it's, it's like, oh, what? And then it's just like a little bit there. And then I get in and I turn the computers on and then they're not working. And you know, you just, you can just right. feel that frustration just starting mm-hmm. to grow and, and you're absolutely right you, at that point when you start feeling that you have to make a, a decision right then that's you right know, am i going to allow this to affect me or am mm-hmm. i going to do what i can to turn it around and so 
in my attempts to turn it around, you know, as you came in a little bit later than, than right. typical, you know, I, I started out with my little morning jab at you. Yeah. Um, so we can and laugh that, that a little put bit. You in a better mood. <laughs> it did. Yeah, picking on the um, handy on the <laughs> I, I thought, infirm. I thought that you were going to say infirm. <laughs> um, but no, it 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 really gets because we start laughing and and right. then and then that starts getting us feeling back to normal again. Right. That's and and right. It, it takes sometimes that conscience conscious decision mm -hmm. to to do that. Right. When I got up this morning, normally I get up, I shower, I mm -hmm. iron my clothes, you know. So I was like. Well, okay, so today I couldn't iron. I mean, right. so, something had to change. Right. And I think of, um, I'm, 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 um, I marvel at uh, ship commanders, uh, captains of, of battleships mm -hmm. or submarines, and I think, how would I, you know, you're sailing along the ocean, and all of a sudden people start <laughs> shooting bombs and shells oh, at right. you, okay? And, and you're thinking, it's one thing to handle a ship, it's another thing when bullets, the bombs are coming at you, you yeah, know, big yeah. shell. And I'm thinking, how do those ship commanders stay calm? And because here they are responsible for hundreds or maybe thousands of people. Right. They have airplanes to launch, they have guns to load. All this stuff has to be done. How do you hold yourself together right. under those circumstances? It's okay. Impressive. So what we're doing is minuscule by comparison, meaningless by yeah. comparison. You know, I don't have my clothes this morning, it's not like being shot at. Um, and so how do you hold yourself together right. so that you can um, salvage the day yeah. so that the day doesn't completely fall apart first thing in the morning right because it could it, right. could, it could affect your entire day absolutely so so the, again the first thing is is really just focusing and and, and recognizing that it's happening <clears throat> and then make that deliberate decision to to shift back right. um, and, and do something to break that negative cycle that's that's right. trying to get right. started that's trying to take over right right uh, another really important thing to do is to get back to your schedule, you know, mm -hmm. you, you have these things early on that that affect how right. you're doing, going with your schedule. Probably the, the beginning of your schedule, mm -hmm. and so it's critical that as soon as you can, you get back to right. your schedule, right. back to your routine where you feel comfortable, where you feel mm -hmm. feel um, adequate, and, and mm -hmm. that you can you can stay focused for the rest. And that's of the day. what I had to do this morning. I said I have to get as close to my regular right. departure time. So. I could have gone through my regular routine and I would have been at least an hour late. Mm -hmm. This way I did everything and I was about 15 minutes late. Well, so I was close enough to my regular right. schedule that we were able to salvage it. Right, and, and, and that's why we pushed the podcast off because mm -hmm. you had uh, some other obligations this morning and I had some other obligations this morning mm -hmm. that had we been on schedule, it, it would have all worked fine, right. but because we were both running a little bit behind, we had to adjust things right. um, so that we could keep as much of our schedule Inta intact as right. possible. Right. Now we're, we're we're throwing this in, um, doing our, this recording, prior to you now heading out to go to the university right. to teach and, and But also it only took that single adjustment. See, it didn't right. have to wreck the entire day. When when we sat down, and and looked at the whole day, it really only meant one simple decision right. to salvage the entire day. And that's usually what it is. That's, it's that's right. usually just one little thing that you can adjust, and mm -hmm. it kind of can put everything. Put the ship back right again. Right. So you're right. you're facing in the right direction and moving mm -hmm. in a positive way. But you begin with I'm going to reset. Right. I'm not going to let the emotional part of this take over. Right. Okay. I'm going to I'm going to um, reset. Get back. And I think the second thing is get back to as close as possible right. to your normal routine. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. And so you you identify mm -hmm. something that you can either put off or something that you can just eliminate for the day. That's right. Sometimes That's it's right. it's a as as almost contradictory as it may seem, if if you're running late in the morning and, and it's has, this morning may be a morning to to skip the jog. I skipped breakfast this morning. Yeah. Okay. So I skip breakfast and I don't have a lunch. Yeah. That's okay. That's mm -hmm. not. I can do something about that. Right. Not a big deal. Right. So you just what things can I eliminate that I would normally do that aren't going to cause a huge problem. Right. Um, and. How can I get back on my regular schedule right. as quickly as possible? Yeah. Because, but again, it's that mindfulness of right. doing things in a mindful way rather than an emotional way. Right, right. right. Yeah, yeah, so that, that's that's the big key is is recognizing it as early as you can. Right. Uh, for, for me, you know, the first time I recognized it was when I dropped my bag. I was yeah. like, okay. Different day. 
Different kind Here of Here we day. go. And mm-hmm. it could you you could just feel that okay the the something's the vibe, not right. right. Mm-hmm. And then the computers are okay, okay, here we go. <laughs> this right. is And that could have thrown you. You could have said, oh, look at the bag, now the computer, and then emotions could have taken mm-hmm. over, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So so be cognizant of yourself. I, I like the word mindfulness that you mm-hmm. use because that's what mindfulness based meditation, that's what all that is about. It's just being mm-hmm. in tune and aware and, and, and understanding of how you're responding to things and how you're reacting right. everything in your environment. The more in tune you are with that, the mm-hmm. faster you can recognize it and the faster you can respond to get yourself back on track. Right. right. All okay. right. Mm-hmm. So hopefully we'll be back first thing tomorrow morning right. for right. no. back on our regular schedule and, right. and, and posting things the way that we have been right. for the last few weeks. So. At, the, at, the, at the correct time. At the correct time. Okay. So I hope that's helpful for you all. Be mindful of your yourself and your emotions, and we will be back in the morning to talk to you a little bit more about some stuff. We will. All right. Okay. All right. Talk to you tomorrow. Have a good day. Bye-bye.